Hi, this is Sandy. We're still celebrating fall here. Last week we did leaves. This week we are going to do spiders. Next week we'll do pumpkins. So we're going to do things that I'm going to show you different ways that you can make decorations for your house. Okay, let's get started on Halloween. First thing we're gonna do is talk about spiders. There's a spider web, I want you to look at it. It's got a center and everything comes up from the center. Now I'm gonna draw a half, make this, draw my paper, use my paper in half so you know where I'm going with it. So let's go with the center for our spider web. Okay, then if you'll notice, the whole top isn't across the top. It's it's sort of um, got points where it has uh, attached itself to the web. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some points around here. See how I'm not making big points, just little ones. And I'm kind of keeping them symmetrical. What does that mean? It means the same as the top is on the bottom. Okay, from the center, it doesn't start exactly. It has almost a little circle where the spider is gonna move around in. So we're gonna leave that open. Okay, now I'm gonna take and pretend I'm drawing I could get a ruler here, or I could try to draw a straight line, which I'm gonna try and draw a straight line. And I'm gonna go from this point here into here. There I go. But when I get to my outer circle, I'm gonna stop. Would you like to see what it looks like with a ruler? Find my center point. Find my point up here, line them up, but I'm not going into the center with it. You decide if it's easier for you to work with a ruler or not. It's almost going, almost going to look like a sun. Since we're gonna have fall for a good six weeks, I thought we might as well just have fun with some of it. So even though I do a couple things this week and a couple things next week, I'm going to show you how to draw things this week so that you can work it out and keep practicing to draw them and you'll be ready for next week. Now, oops, I went a little bit too far, so I'm going to erase that. There. Now, if you'll notice, and you look at our spider web, it doesn't go straight here to here, here to here. It has a curve in it. It's like that spider just gave it a little bit to, for the wind to blow in. I wonder why he does that. Well, let's think about what he's catching. He's trying to catch his dinner. And if it were real tight, maybe the bug wouldn't get us caught up. Okay. So, you see how I did this? There are no straight lines here. The straight lines are the center points of my spider web. Now, I can keep coming down here now, spiders are pretty, um, they have a, a web, and they, they usually do about the same thing every time. So pay attention to how much space you get between your lines. Get the idea about what I'm doing? 
I'm needing that line to that line to that line. We're going to keep doing this over and over again. Now, if you've got a lazy spider, you're going to have a lot of space in between your web marks. How many spiders or how many bugs do you think is going to be able to get through there? So don't get lazy. I want to see your webs have a whole lot of more webs in them. Okay, on the center one, this is going to come down like this. And then you can go all the way in like this now with these. But in the center, he doesn't have a lot of a lot of web marks in there. Probably so he can enjoy his dinner. He might have one here. Remember, I don't want you to get lazy, but I don't want to take all the time that it's going to take for me to fill this in correctly. So I'm going to be quiet now, and I'm going to draw it, but I'm going to take a piece of black paper and I'm going to take my uh, chalk pencils and I'm going to use white or gray and I'm going to make this look like a real spider web. Okay, I'm going to turn this off on fast forward now and you can watch. Okay, now we're back and I've made my spider web. This is black construction paper. This is black, or I mean, this is white um, pastel pencils. So it isn't colored pencils, but you could use a white colored pencil if you don't have chalk pencils, or you could use a piece of white chalk. Okay, we're gonna put this aside. 
remember that if you rub on it, you're going to smear it. And we don't want to smear it. Let's talk about the spider now that lives on this web. He's going to be pretty big. So let's not make a little one. And you've got a picture of a spider up. It's a really pretty spider. This is called a garden spider, believe it or not. I've got one in my backyard. And even though it looks scary, it isn't, it's good for, for your house. It eats the big bugs like the grasshoppers and the, and the crickets and bigger bugs. But it also eats ants if it could find one. But the ants usually don't get caught. So let's talk about what we have on that spider. We have a great big body. Okay. And then I am not a spider person. It looks like we have another smaller body up here. So I don't know how many bodies. You do the work and figure out how many bodies we've got. Then we've got eight legs. These are these legs are really pretty big. I wouldn't want to get stuck with one of those legs. That middle leg, you really don't see all of it. You can just give him because he comes down like that then. And then he's got a leg here and a leg here. And then he's got really long legs, right, like that. He's going to get whatever he can with those. Now let's decorate him. You can make your spider any color you want. But remember that when you go to decorate him, we're going to cut him out. So I want the legs big enough so that you can use a pair of scissors to cut him out. Okay, I'm going to put it on fast forward now, and I'm just going to use some of that pastel chalk and, uh, and get it on my spider, and I'm going to cut it out. So, here we go.
Okay, I have my spider cut out. Now, before you do yours, you might want to take a strip of this off so you don't have to use a whole piece of paper like I went and had to do. I'm going to cut, oh, it's about a half inch strip. Maybe, let's make it about, four inches. And you don't have to be precise. Four inches is just one half that. Okay, now we're going to, well, not sure what I did, but we're going to make an accordion out of it. That means we're going to fold it this way and then turn it over and fold it again and then turn it over and fold it again and again and again and then leave it out. Now how will you know you've got it right? Because when you pull it apart it looks like an accordion. An accordion is a musical instrument in case you didn't know. And it plays music this way. Okay, he's all done and he's glued on. And if I pick him up, it looks like he's just hanging on his web. So, next week we're going to work on pumpkins. I can't wait. We'll see you then.